and uh, what do you think are the key tenets of how uh, you know you went about improving your story uh, telling skills because once abhishek told you that hey uh, why don't you pick up a story and tell me the story in the data uh, so how did you go about then chiseling your way through to making yourself a master of that craft yeah so i have not necessarily call myself a master i mean yeah so you're right so it's definitely i've, I've been doing it for a long time I, i would still call myself a lifelong student and um so books have been really useful and again yeah we come back to that topic but uh, you'll see a bunch of them at the back and um, many of these are books that have really helped me and uh, you know i'm of course happy to share a list of some of the books that have really influenced me and and made me kind of you know made my skill where it is uh so like off the top of my head two three books that are coming are made to stick is a is a book that really it even now i go back and when i am doing some of the things i'll be like oh i learned this in made to stick oh i learned this in made to stick it's by uh, two guys called chip heath and dan heath um and a foundational book on storytelling 2008 or 7 or 8 a, a, a colleague called rohan desai gifted it to me and uh, i keep telling him you know this is this kind of a life changing book for me um the pyramid principle uh, it's a tough book not an easy book to read but extremely foundational in terms of clarity in communication i don't think there's another book that talks about clarity more <clears throat> yeah in in a more fundamental way i won't say it is an easy read it's a tough one but uh, so that's one more that comes to mind and there are a bunch of others in fact i i'm happy to kind of you know put in the show notes i i put down like 13 books was it 13 12 to 13 books that really impacted me in this craft of storytelling right so so that's one way that by which i learn uh, which is i will read a book i'll get some idea then i will try and implement it in my uh, in my in my writing of course also now in my training um so that's one um other sources of uh, um of of you know input for me would be podcasts and especially over the last 6 7 years um often i'll get an idea from a podcast that i will again try and you know implement in writing or or in the training or the uh, podcast will talk about a book which will then uh, be something that that works for me so these are i think two main uh, places um i i call it uh, the 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 3r model right which is uh, actually 3r or 5c so 3r for me is reading reflection and writing so of course reading is important let me talk a little bit about the reflection piece right because i remember uh, this incident with a cousin of mine uh called suresh and so i was one day telling him ke, hey you know you what you should be on twitter because you learn so much and you can immediately find out when somebody has said something uh you know somebody's take on something and you know there's this you know you can follow all these people and you're not always on top of the world etc etc and then you should listen to podcasts and then by the way you should have a kindle and mathura i was probably showing off a little not cool but um you know he just you know heard me out and then he just asked me a simple question right you know ravi to and i'll say it in hindi and translate that tu itna padhta hai to sochta kab hai and if you read so much when do you think <laughs> and that kind of hit me and he was right and there is a tendency that we all have as um, as knowledge professionals to fill in every um, bite space in our day every minute in our day with something and i i also do it right so i'm i'm going down in a lift i'll be like okay let me quickly and not waste this 30 seconds of precious time but see what i can read or or something and uh by well that yeah it's, it's a natural tendency but i do try to carve out reflection periods and um, we, we all have heard of the the shower moment right where you are in the shower and then suddenly an idea that or suddenly a problem that you have not been able to crack you you'll get an idea i like it so often i get shower moments that i'll be like should i spend more time in the shower should i take two baths a day it's it's crazy so um i think yeah reflection is the second part of it we should do more of it if if you're not and then and then writing because um often what seems like an idea that uh, is very uh, well formed in your head crumbles when it hits paper mm. so so you should write you should uh, create in some way uh, if if writing is not your jam then um uh, record yourself or, or you know have a conversation with somebody um yeah writing is easiest because you know you there's no paraphernalia but uh, yeah i would say um read reflect write and and then repeat to keep to keep getting